what's up you guys it's your girl queen checking in i'm back with another video i'm back with another video i'm back with another video so today y'all today is gonna be like a drive day clearly uh today we're on the move we just left indiana and we're on our way back to michigan so that's where we gonna be at so if y'all see us up in michigan stop and say hey before i even start shout out to one of my subscribers amma amma <laughs> Shout out to one of my subscribers, Amber Baker. Shout out to her, cause since me commenting, since me up on my stuff, she be letting me know, she be talking to me, we be communicating. Thank you so much, okay? First of all, thank you. I really do appreciate you watching the vlogs. I appreciate you interacting. So I just had to shout her out because she really been, she really been, she really been messing with the key. So I had to show my love and appreciation. So shout out to you. Me and Mun was on Instagram, and I'm gonna put the post right here. And we were like, I, I, I know y'all seen the post. The post was like, 61 year old man or 55 year old man, and marries his 18 year old goddaughter. And I'm gonna put the right here. I'm pretty sure y'all, uh, if you ain't been on Instagram, what have you been doing? I just wanted to like talk about it real quick because like, what the fuck? Like, it really just make you feel like you gotta watch who you have around your kids. Because it's like, this man was 55, this girl was 18, and they got married as soon as she turned 18, I think like a month after she turned 18. It was her god dad. So it's like... I thought it was like her stepdad. No, that was her god daddy. Okay, but you know, that's like you having you a kid, and your best friend, you and you have a little girl, and your best friend is a guy, you like, hey, I want you to be my child's godfather. And he becomes the godfather for some reason or another. You couldn't take care of your child, so he steps in and helps take care of her every now and again. And then as soon as she hit 18, they get married. It just gives like, first of all, the man been looking at this little girl. You can't tell me that he did not. You can't tell me that this man have not been looking at this little girl. Because number one, they got married as soon as she turned 18, which means while she was 16, while she was 17, hey, clearly- it has to be something going on. Yeah. Some type of him coming, leaning in, uh, coming in. What is it called? Not leaning into her. It's him uh, coming on. That's what it is. Coming <laughs> on to her. It is like seduce her. Yes. Yeah, so he had like to be. Seduce. Okay. He had to be. Because <laughs> that's just bad thoughts. Coming on to Yeah. You nasty. Vaughn is ill. Anyway, not it's not funny because that girl, no. First of all, this, like I said, this girl, they had to have been talking. He had to be seducing her when she was like 16, 17 in order for her to want to go and full on get married to this man. When he's 55. So that tells me that he had been looking at this girl. He had been peeping her. You know what I'm saying? They probably have been having sex. Supposedly that the girl already got a kid. Even though she got a kid and even though she feels like, oh, I'm grown. I can do what I want. I'm 18. I've been grown. My mama didn't raise me. Whoop the whoop the whoop. He don't know shit. Like you said, like y'all said, how I'm young and ain't my mind ain't open all the way. Okay. Well, a young nigga is even worse than a young female. Why the fuck would you think that I want to sit around and be with a young nigga that want to fuck other people and want to and don't got his mind made up, don't know what he want, don't want to commit, don't want to get out his mama house, don't want to do that. Why the fuck would I want that? That's not what I want. I don't want that. I want to be with a nigga that know what the fuck he want in life. I want to be with a nigga that got his stacked up his break. At the end of the day, we're not even really talking about you making the you getting 18 and you want to make the decision to marry this man. It's more about the man making the decision to marry you. And what's so crazy is that they got pictures of this man holding this little girl when she was like probably no more than two three years old you know what i'm saying so it's not like you know what i'm saying this man been around this girl her whole entire life and for him just to up and marry her i thought it was when i first seen it i thought it was a situation so where that was like his stepdaughter and he had he was like with her mom and then like he stopped messing with her mom and eventually got with her type of situation she had just showed me the picture the other day to where like he was around her like when she was a baby you know what I'm saying? So that's that's the part that kind of like that's a fucked up weird situation to me. Don't get me wrong. I see women or men, whichever way you want to put it. I see older people marry very young people all the time and fall in love. The situation of it that's weird is that he was like around to see her grow up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the part that's weird. Whenever, and somebody meets somebody when they're 20 and they marry somebody when they're 60. 
60 and they just never knew each other their whole life and they met and they feel like that's love, that's cool. Yeah, yeah that's it's just the... It's the fact that he knew her since he, yeah. she was a baby. You probably changed the diaper. Yeah. Now. And now he's having sex with that girl. That's the weirdness of it. And it kind of just make you bring it to the whole, you need to watch, you know, you need to watch your kids. Watch who you have around your kids. And it just goes for any and everybody. I all know that that man had to have been messing with that girl before she turned 18. Because ain't no way that they just up and decided, oh, let's get married a month after that girl turned 18. This is something that, to, to me, it sounds like they had been contemplating, like, probably a year or so before she had turned 18. And they decided, let's go ahead and get married. Because it's legal when you're 18. It just goes to show you, like, you really need to watch who you are, have, watch your kids, who you have, you know what I'm saying, who you have around your kids, who you let uh, your kids be around. This man could have been a family of the friend, I mean family. This man could have been a family. Friend. Friend, friend of the family. Friend of the family, yeah. Yes. <laughs> when people get that title to you, and like, oh, you're the goddaughter, or you're the god, I mean, you're the godmother, you're the godfather. It's because they trust you enough to be, like, if something was to happen to them, you would watch over their kids. It's me, and he been watching this little girl grow up. He been praying on this little girl, like, making her fall in love with him. And then her excuse for it is like, oh, well, I'd rather be with a man who's older and who already know what he wants versus be with somebody who my age who cheating on me, don't know what they want. You're doing adult things to him. And it's like, the whole time, he was watching you. You know what I'm saying? He was looking at you. When you were 14 and 15, he was looking at you. When you were 16 and you had your first baby, he was looking at you. And now that you're 18 and you're a month in and y'all getting married, that's the issue. That's the problem. This man, it, like, he, he, he gives me predator. But he waited for the right moment to get with you. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like the girl 18, supposedly her mom was on drugs. And supposedly that her daddy was never there. Little, she don't, re she don't remember when I was when she was with me. I lost my kids to DCF. A lot of y'all know I used to stop patty, sold a lot of motherfucking drugs. Whooped a lot of ass, went to jail a lot. I was young and wild as fuck. I don't apologize and I'd be goddamn if I apologize in a motherfucking moment. But bitch, you said you married Mike cause you need stability. Okay, so uh <clears throat> your son your your stepson, my little cousin, your little cousin, yeah he he didn't know, he didn't know whether to call you his godmama or his motherfucking god, I mean his stepmama or his god sister. I say, is she, is she your god sister or your stepmama or your cousin? He said, she my god sister and my So he probably uh, came in as like more of a father figure to her, which made her connect with him on a certain type of level. Right. You know what I'm saying? It made him like that connection and you feel like you, okay, I know this person. They're not really my family. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And you feel comfortable with them and all these different things. So I wonder if she just just went into a, a mindset of, well, I already love him. I know him. You know what I'm saying? I know he ain't gonna do me wrong. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just bury him. But I understand where she coming from, though. Uh, in a sense of, oh well, her mother was on drugs, so her mama was never really there. She had to pretty much raise herself you know, and teach herself, and she had to kind of, like, go through life with herself, and how her daddy wasn't there, he was non-existent in her life, so I really feel like she really got to a point to where she was leaning on that man, and that man knew that, you know, she didn't have nobody around, her mom was on drugs, her daddy was never around, I feel like it got to a point to where she didn't know, she knew that she really didn't have nobody in this world, but he knew that, I feel like he prayed on that, I feel like he prayed on the fact that she didn't have the guidance you know, in this world that she needed to know. And I feel like he prayed on the fact that she knew she was lost. I feel like he tried to nurture her or comfort her. And it turned into like, oh, while well, I'm nurturing it and I'm comforting you. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I love you. And then it turned into, let's be together forever. I feel like he's seen her. He's seen what she was going through. He knew that he could come in and he came in and he married that girl. That's what I honestly feel like it was. I feel like he's seen the opportunity and he took it. And the girl, of course, she don't know no better. Right, right. So she failed. He been through enough and experienced enough to know that, like, nah, this wrong. Oh, we don't, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of how you feel, you should have really, like, laid it out to her. You know what I'm saying? You're young. You're going to feel like that. Don't do that. If you wanted to be, if you love that girl, you just wanted to be that father figure in her life like you were supposed to originally be as the godfather, you would have established a line of, I'm your godfather, I'll be here for you, I love you, I can help take care of you in, in X, Y, and Z sense. You would have put that line in between me being your father and me being your lover. 
her. You see what I'm saying? Like he would have established a line out the gate that this is what I am to you. This is what I can do for you. But instead of establishing that line, straight up was like, okay, well, I love you. I want to be with you. I want to marry you. I want you to have my kids. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what it's very much giving. This is what he was telling her. He had to be telling her this. For her to be going so hard like, oh, well, I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Young women are so easily manipulate, and the older men know that. So that's why a lot of older men go for a lot of younger women because they know that they can manipulate them. And she's so young that he can mold her into what he wants a woman, his wife to be like. The whole situation gives me manipulation at its best. From an old ass, grown ass man who been out here, who, who probably done had his kids, who probably done fucked around with plenty of women, who knows what's going on. Versus somebody who's 18, she had a kid young. You know, she barely just getting out here in the world to know what's going on. A girl ain't even old enough to drink it. She ain't even experienced life yet. And for him to come in and take her, like snatch her like that, you know what I'm saying? Knowing her situation, knowing what she was going through. I feel like he was crying on that girl. I feel like he'd been looking at this girl for so long, looking at this girl when she was younger. And then, you know, came in when she was 16, 17, start telling her how he loved her, how he won't never do her wrong, how he'll be here for her. And somebody who's so broken, they'll listen to something like that and they'll just take it and run with it. Who was at the, the wedding? Like, Who was if at they the wedding? had, you know what I'm saying? Because they look like I they had the picture, a yeah. wedding. If they did have a wedding reception, like when they got to the part to anybody objected. <laughs> Nobody objected? Nobody got up on like, this is bullshit. This is wrong. This is not right. This is not how this is supposed to be. Y'all just sat there and watched that man get married to that girl. I don't know. That's just one of the things that me and Bo was uh, talking about, I think, like, yesterday. But I just wanted to bring it to the vlog and see, like, how would y'all feel if y'all had a, sent y'all daughter a godfather? And then when your daughter turned 18, she married your best, the man that you said to be her godfather. Like, how do y'all feel about that? Anyway, leave that in the comments. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Bye. <laughs>